All right, we're looking to make some cast iron buffalo chicken. So we started by cubing up a bunch of boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and we just cooked them in the skillet with a little olive oil. Nothing fancy here, a little salt and pepper. And now we're letting all of the excess juice drain off uh, as we prepare our skillet for the next phase. You can see the remnants of the chicken bits inside the cast iron, and into that we're going to add some chopped cauliflower. We're gonna let this cook up. We're gonna season it. And it's gonna come out just a minute. Since it's buffalo chicken, it's never wrong to add butter. We got a little um, extra virgin olive oil that we've started browning this uh, cauliflower up with, and we're gonna go ahead and put some butter in there to add some more flavor along with some salt and pepper. That cauliflower is looking nice and golden. So we've added a little more oil to the skillet here, and then into this, we are going to add a chopped onion. Get that all nice and brown. Listen to those onions sizzle. I wish y'all could smell this. Mm. Over here on the cutting board, we have one block of cream cheese cut up and ready to go in. Now that those onions are nice and brown, we're gonna add cauliflower back in. Get all that a good stir, get all that stuff back together, and then we'll be ready to add our chicken and our cheese and our buffalo seasoning. This is gonna be good. Mm. Right, we're putting our chicken back in the mix. All right, we got that chicken in, get it all stirred in good. And now it will be time to go ahead and add the other ingredients. Got our cream cheese in there. And don't be shy about this next ingredient because it is the secret ingredient is Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce Buffalo. Be generous with that stuff. That stuff is good. It's not too spicy and it adds so much flavor to the mix. Let's go a little more. There we go. That's going to be good. Listen to that sizzle. Get all that cream cheese stirred in. Got that Frank's Red Hot in there. We're giving it a good stir. Got to get all those cheese cubes melted. And the last thing we're going to put in is just going to set this thing off. That final ingredient is Hidden Valley Ranch Seasoning. It goes really good with buffalo chicken. Mm-hmm. We will stir that in good. Make sure it gets in amongst all those bits of chicken and cheese. We'll let this simmer for a little bit. Make sure everything gets nice and tender together. Mm -hmm. Man, I wish y'all could smell that. Mm. It's so good. Take a look at that. Now to finish this off, we're going to get some blue cheese crumbles. Some crumbled blue cheese. You can buy a block of blue cheese and crumble it yourself, however you want to do it. And then we're going to finish it off can you guess with what? Oh, I don't know, maybe ranch some more ranch dressing. Ooh, look at that. That's gonna be so good. Mm. Let's give it a taste. Let's see how it turned out. Look at that. Outstanding. That's like a wing, but without the bone end part. Well, I hope somebody takes a chance and makes this, enjoys it. I know I did, and uh, y'all have a blessed day.